Hi guys, welcome to Get Medic. In the previous lecture, we have covered the three phase inverter in 120 degree conduction mode, and we plot the waveform of line voltage as well as phase voltage of 120 degree conduction mode. And based on that, I derived the line voltage uh, RMS value of line voltage, RMS value of phase voltage, and thyristor RMS current. These all things. Now, in this lecture, we will see the Fourier series expression of line voltage as well as phase voltage in three phase inverter in 120 degree conduction mode. So, let's get started. So this is my waveform of phase voltage in 120 degree conduction mode. Now tell me whether this is odd function or even function or neither even nor odd. This is neither even nor odd. So definitely you have to find a n and b n both that I already explained you in the previous lecture that is this is nothing but a line voltage of 180 degree mode. Please remember guys. Okay. If you will plot the line voltage in 180 degree conduction mode then it will be something like this. This is my 120 degree. This is my pi and from pi to 300 degree you will get something like this and this is my 2 pi so peak value there i got that is equal to vdc here peak value is vdc by 2 that is only the difference so this is my line voltage in 180 degree mode got it so i already derived the fourier series expression of this that is equal to 6k plus minus 1 to infinite and this is equal to 4 vdc upon n pi into sin n pi by 3 into sin n omega naught t plus n pi by 6. I derived in the previous lecture. This is my Fourier series expression of line voltage in 180 degree conduction mode. So what is the difference in this waveform and this waveform? Only the difference in peak value. Here peak value is VDC and here peak value is VDC by 2. Rest all part are remain same. So at what I can write VAN of T in 120 degree conduction mode that is equal to you can replace just VDC with VDC by 2 it will be equal to 2 VDC upon N pi of course you have to write summation of N is equal to 6k plus minus 1 means it will not contain triple N harmonics into sin N pi by 3 into sin N omega naught T plus n pi by 6 okay i am just relating the line voltage in 180 degree mode and phase voltage in 120 degree mode so the waveform of line voltage in 180 degree mode and phase voltage in 120 degree mode are same only the differences are in peak value so replace vdc with vdc by 2 you will get the fourier series expression of phase voltage in 120 degree mode okay so finally the fourier series will be something like this now once we got the fourier series expression then you can we can easily find the vp01 rms this is the fundamental component of rms value of phase voltage that is equal to root 2 vdc upon pi just put n is equal to here n is equal to 1 here it will be equal to root 2 vdc upon pi into sin pi by 3 and we already found in the previous lecture that is a total phase rms voltage that is equal to vdc upon root 6 so Based on that, I can easily find the distortion factor that is equal to VP01 RMS upon VP RMS, total RMS voltage, it will be equal to 3 upon pi. Means the distortion factor will remain same in 180 degree as well as 120 degree conduction mode. Hence, THD will also remain same that is equal to 1 upon G square minus 1 that is equal to 31%. So this is how we can plot the uh, we can find the Fourier series expression of phase voltage now come to the line voltage this is my Fourier this is my waveform of line voltage in 120 degree conduction mode okay and this waveform is similar to phase voltage in 180 degree conduction mode in 180 degree conduction mode we got the phase voltage something like this that is a three pulse so this waveform and this waveform both waveform are similar only there is difference in peak voltage and it is shifted by angle 60 degree means if i will shift this waveform towards right by 60 degree then the waveform i will get something like this right it is having peak value that is equal to vdc now see this waveform and this wave now you can very uh, relate these two waveform and the fourier series expression of this waveform is 2 vdc upon n pi into sin n omega net t and this is having peak voltage 2 vdc by 3 
so let us take this v1 of t i am taking this v let us not write v1 let us take any other parameter let us take this vr of t okay so this is having peak voltage vdc and this is having peak voltage vdc 2 vdc by 3 so in order to write the fourier series expression of this vr of t what i can write vr of t is nothing but 3 by 2 times of vp in 180 degree mode i can write like this just replace 2 vdc by 3 with vdc so it will be equal to 3 by 2 times of this one so finally what is the fourier series expression i am getting fourier series expression will be equal to 6k plus minus 1 to infinite just multiply by 3 by 2 multiplied by 2 vdc upon n pi into sin n omega naught t i can write like this so finally fourier series expression of vr of t i will get that is equal to 3 vdc upon n pi into sin n omega naught t is it fine now i need to find the fourier series expression of this line voltage and this line voltage is shifted by 60 degree fine so i got the fourier series expression of this waveform i got the fourier series expression of this waveform now if i will shift this waveform towards left if i will shift this waveform towards left by 60 degree then definitely i will get the fourier series expression of this waveform that is the final waveform so i can write vab that is the line voltage Fourier series expression that is equal to summation of n is equal to 6k plus minus 1 to infinite magnitude will remain as it is 3 vdc upon n pi and it is equal to sin n omega naught t and i can shift this waveform this waveform is shifted by 60 degree towards left so it is equal to n pi by 3 if i will shift this then i will get the wave uh, Fourier series expression of this waveform got it so finally the fourier series expression of line voltage will be something like this so let me write it uh, by omitting this so this is my fourier series expression of line voltage in 120 degree conduction mode how i got that i already explained you now what is the value of line uh, uh, fundamental rms value of line voltage fundamental rms value of line voltage will be equal to 3 vdc upon pi into divided by root 2 also i know the total line rms voltage that i already derived in the previous lecture that is equal to vdc by root 2 so what is the distortion factor distortion factor will be equal to vl01 rms upon vl rms total rms voltage that is equal to 3 upon pi so distortion factor will remain as it is whether it is 120 mode 180 mode or line voltage or phase voltage means the thd i will get that is also remain same that is equal to 31 percent got it there is one more point i would like to explain if you don't know the fourier series expression i already explained you how to find the uh, fundamental rms voltage so fundamental rms output voltage i can easily write that is equal to g into total rms output voltage so you can apply this formula also in order to find the fundamental rms output voltage okay and we know that g is 3 upon pi that we can easily mug up or that we can easily keep in mind that the distortion factor g is equal to 3 upon pi in three phase inverter or rectifier in both case distortion factor will be 3 upon pi only so let us summarize what we have studied in this lecture as well as in previous lecture on left side i plotted the phase parameter and on right side i plotted the line parameter so vprms in 120 degree mode i got that is equal to vdc by root 6 while line voltage will be vdc by root 2 or you can write root 3 times of phase rms voltage Fourier series expression I already derived in, the, in this lecture based on that fundamental RMS voltage distortion factor and this. So whatever written in a red pen that is different from 180 degree mode and whatever written in blue pen that is same in 180 degree mode and 120 degree mode both. Okay. So see here thyristor RMS current will change that is VDC upon 2R into 1 by root 3. Now talk about the seventh point that is power. Power calculation will remain as it is, but you have to keep in mind whether the load is star connected or delta connected that I already explained you in the previous lecture also that if the load is star connected, then no problem. Take line voltage formula or phase voltage formula. You will get the same answer. But if load is delta connected, then keep in mind that you don't have to apply the phase voltage formula. You have to apply the line voltage formula because in delta connection, line voltage and phase voltage are same. So do not apply the phase voltage formula, just apply the line voltage formula and based on that you can find any parameter. 
So in delta connection, I already know that three phase power is equal to three times of VL square upon R. As we know that in delta connection, phase voltage and line voltage are equal. So apply the line voltage formula. Got it? This is really important. So in this way, we have completed the three phase inverter voltage source inverter in 180 degree conduction mode and 120 degree conduction mode. And based on that, we will solve all the previous year gate as well as ESC problem in the coming lecture from three phase voltage source inverter. Got it? So if you guys understood the concept, then please like this video. And if you're having any doubt, then you can ask in the comment below or join our Facebook group for doubt solving.